What a hard word in the intro. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Let's Play Star Fox 2 with yours truly Emerald Sniper. <laughs> oh, how I love going to this game. I actually got in this probably recently last year. This, we're playing Star Fox 2 on the SNS GT with an English debug patch. So everything's, everything is a-okay with no Japanese and English. I also have the debug version so I can practice a few, a few either missions or hard mode. Or any kind of mode at all. Can this thing work? I'm going to be doing, for this one, like the first, I'll be doing all three modes, but I'm going to be doing a live, well, we'll be doing all three of them, we'll just say for now, but I'm going to be doing something special for expert mode, oh boy, I'll get to it when we get there. So, right now, let's just go through normal mode, shall we? I have returned to take my revenge, Cornarian scum! You will soon bow before me! <coughs> well, well, well. Look at this. Star Fox, we have an emergency. Andros is alive. No duh, we just saw him. And he's lost a chance to attack against him. Area. Enemy forces have sorted their Andros smudge ships and carriers are heading towards Corneria. They also built bases on several planets and firing IPBMs at Corneria. Interplanetary binary missiles. Your help is crucial. Corneria, <coughs> Corneria can take some hits, but with excess excessive damage, we will fall. Mind my grandma. For <coughs> That's the third time I failed. Protect Canaria and wipe out Andros's army. We're counting unused, Fox. Now, what's unique about this one is that we don't have just Fox. We have like all these characters to select, even two new ones. We have Faye and Miru. We'll be playing them later. Right now, we just had to take in Falco and auto selects. Mind it, the RD auto selects for you, so you also have to select what you want, but let's just go with Slippy and Funko, shall we? Good luck. And if you're wondering, yes, that is the Great Fox. This is what the Great Fox used to look like before the remake of Star Fox 1. <sighs> Choose what the flying R wing would be. Liberate the planets of the Lilat system. You can change your partner if you press select. A launch ship can work the planets where that don't have... God damn it! Stupid controller. Anywho, this won't start until we're moving, so... What we have is the Lilat system and a very fan Lilat. If you played Star Fox Command, this was the first known Lilat in order to utilize the battle system that what Command has. This is very different, but I love it so much. Like I said, we can use the we can use the mothership, aka the Great Fox, in the, in the back backstory lineup, and we can warp to planets that don't have that don't have these bases. I won't be using it because this is normal mode, so we're just gonna go and let's fight our first battle in the game. So, you're saying that what, what makes this different from the other Star Fox games? I take it for granted that this was never re released for the US. So that's probably a unique way of saying that, but... This was made with the, with the FX engine and our systems. It has been enhanced. So, whatever Star Fox had that was holding it back, this made it better. And boy, did it, they did a damn well job against it. And now we take on our first battleship. Here, here's the thing you want to go for battleships. Just hold Y. Hold the boost button. That's it. 
<laughs> Easy. And slippy. I already told that. Now, here's the thing that makes this so unique. And what people would have shunned for if the N64 never came in six in six months. As Slippy said, we can transform the R1. Observe. We have the Walker. This MP probably know from the Star Fox 64, there is the Landmaster, but these R wings have a walker mode. Which you can jump and shoot, and actually a little bit powerfully than we had for the ship. Every time you're in, in the ships, you go against a core. Real easy because it has either two to four weak points. You always go to walker mode when you enter the stuff. I also should mention, this is in an RTA system, so whatever you're doing, you see the time, you saw the timer when it said clear time and total time. Clear time is the amount of time we took to take care of the enemy. Total time, total time is how much the battle is played out. The reason why is that you're in a war. Not like how other Star Fox games put, but whatever you're doing affects the whole game. The game is still going. I mean, the game's timer does not stop when you're in a world. Like, we go to Titantia first. And, oh! Here's one of our first instances. Leon from Star Wolf. This is actually the first game where Star Wolf actually appears. Yep, that's right, folks. This is where Star Wolf first appears in the whole Star Fox series. They're really not that hard, but they are hard on Xbox. They are. They actually have quite the quite the um, CPU embedded. They they are not pussies. We'll, we'll say we'll just come up with that. But on harder difficulties, they get smarter, folks. They will try to dodge and and use the barrel. And what you saw there, that one of the one of the one of the bases launched at 9 p.m. You do not want these things to go into Corneria because a swarm of them is so bad. And now we have the first instances of going on a on a planet. As you're probably getting a little memo from General Pepper, he's telling us what to do. This is still your typical Star Fox game. Folks. This isn't like anything else. You can, yeah, as as stated, you can you can still go to your R wing and use them wisely. But you're going to be using Walker for a long time. It doesn't really matter. Like so, I'll, I'll switch to four right now. There is a barrier, as you see, so you can't even use this much. Also, there's infinite boost, so if you're trying to boost for, boost to win, this is the game for you. <laughs> Easy thing for um, for going on the bases, you either have to find you have to find switches in order to open them, or you have to destroy barrier gates. Most of them, you just have to find switches, and most you have to meet mini bosses. This game has a lot of mini bosses. Do not take it lightly. Oh, we have flying platforming. These things hurt. Oh crap! One of the first few instances did it go away? Did it go away? There's also these coins in the game. They're supposed to be have some signals of General Pepper on them. The debug, the debug readme shows that what it, what each thing represents in the game. They, the debug team, did a fantastic job, but they never found out. They never found out what those coins do. Just probably for completion or something, but I really don't know. Wind blasters. 
Oh, we also have the Twin Blaster upgrade, which I really need this space for power. Sometimes these bases will have these. Just cores, regular cores, not just partial cores and stuff when you have them in the battleships. Think from the atomic core, but very, very different. Still it's pretty easy. Until you find the regular bases. The other kinds of bases in hard. <laughs> Now, you saw in the instances how, how Peppy says IPM was fired. Satellite system destro destroyed the enemy. Like I said, real time. Whatever is happening is whatever is going. This does not stop time when you're in a stage or a, fi or, or a dog fight. You must be fast. If you're not fast, Cornelia will fall and you will, and you will lose. We're at a warning, just because. But normal takes forever for a man to do it. Looks like some rats are slipping through. Heh. <laughs> what's this? I'll go easy on you. <laughs> Here, we've actually found a main boss. Now, these bosses will go for you immediately, and what you saw there, there was another little light. We'll find out later. Now for the boss, the Mirage Dragon. Very easy. It might look menacing in the, in the title, the opening, I should say. He's really easy. Once his mouth opens, just blast the hell out of it, he's dead. Just because I had twin blasters, it's so easy. I'll go easy on you did go easy on me. But let's meet the next guy here, shall we? And it's Pigma from Star Wars, the second member of the game. Easy job. Look what's happening, you idiot. I'm kicking your ass. They don't die. Even though in the first Star One and Two Star Fox, even though they die, no, they're not. You can actually see why, because they in the excerpt they say they escaped in like pods or something. That's what happened. Also, you saw there. If you take too long, enemies will spawn, and you will have to take them down. If you don't take them down, they will go to Corneria and they will do damage. They might not do much, but if you take too long, they will freak you up. I'm hoping to do normal mode on one video. Hopefully. So this might be like a 30 minute video, folks. You might be in for a while. Hard mode, well, it'll be split, of course. Oh, come on. You can switch back to your R-Wing with a certain button here, which I completely forgot which one, but I just use the first person, because the first person in this game is quite nice. Oh, you still saw the entry button to a defensive system that it actually destroyed something. You see it charging and it's charged. It goes around to a circle until you see enemy in enemy at sight. Just because of the hitbox and such, that's a world of fire. It takes any small enemy or an IBPM in one hit. Bosses and such, they don't take any damage, they don't get hit. The defense system isn't that much helpful for people, folks. And I should really go on the concept of what, how well, not just Falco works and how Slippy works. Uh, basically, this game introduced us to three different types of ships. You got your normal r -wing, which Falco and Fox uses. You also got, then you have your engineer, or the bulky kind. But first is this is of the regular r -wing. You got your level 1 lasers, you got 8 points of shield. They go from yellow to red, so you have a lot of health. Now, that's the normal amount of health. 
the plasma version, we'll say for like Slippy. Getting in my way again. Stupid Andros. Let's switch to the Slippy. For Slippy, his ship, he has more health, but less speed. Also, his blaster takes longer to charge. I should also note that. This game is the first in order to go use the use the use charge blaster. <laughs> also, you might you might have realized that the that <laughs> something made into me. That it's hilarious. That, don't 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 grab my that won't hurt you, but it is hilarious. I just like how the game looks. It, it's it's so much. It looks way better than what Star Fox did. I redefined FX system. M Mode seven FX system was really well done. Modified, enhanced. How much glitches and such? Thank good, thank good God for the de develop for the uh, English development team. Because the debug patch with the English patch is quite nice. I can't really say how much of the um, how much patches and such are, but I always say that. Eh, very good job. Well, I also you might see me um, a little bit because of the um, some of the controls, but I'm okay. <coughs> I'm okay. And now for another easy core. Like I said, normal is probably like the easy core that I'm not going to expert. I am going to hate expert. I'm just going to say that. I am going to hate expert. I should know this actually has a few couple new worlds, but we'll be seeing the other worlds next time. Oh, now with all the worlds, with all this, his army swept away, we can go after him. Let's take the fight to Andros. Oh, what's this? It's Wolf! The leader of Star Wolf. Yep, you you're thinking like if, if Pigma and and Leon is here, where's Wolf? He's right there, man. His a his CPU for um, for a hard mode and such. That's it's definitely quite smart. And I wanted to change back the phone code to everything, but can I really? <gasps> what is he doing? I can't. Good. Because Falco's going to take him out. Let's take the fight to Andros. So whoever character she is selecting is coming here. That character, you keep that character until you die. This is also another thing. You only have two lives in this game. Whatever guys you selected, those are your lives. Oh, that's me using that. Sorry. So, whenever you've chosen, if you die, that character dies. It's a partial game over. It still says if you want to go on with the other character, you, you can choose yourself, but if you suck, you can't use both of them. If both characters die, then it's an automatic Cornelia fall, fall. And you really don't want to see Cornelia fall. Ugh. Just telling you now, you don't want to see her fall. Also, if you're wondering, no, there is a... Uh, where, where is, where is it? There is 
no uh, break button. Just, just stay here. There's no break button, people. So you have to be very precise on your on your flying and walking. Well, walking, of course. You can just do anything. Your flying is what matters. Still, this game is mighty good. I wish it came before the N64 come. I'll explain all that. I'll explain all that at the end of this LP. Now, let's take the fight to Andros in his chambers. What's this? This ain't Andros. Admirable Star Fox! <laughs> He's actually saying that we're admirable. To be his enemies for so long. And there's Andros. Mash the crap out of him, quickly! And that's it. What's this? He survives. So that was who we take into the final battle. Of normal mode! Impressive, but you will die here. Suffer. Andros. And boy, does he look different. I'll get into that for what he actually looks like later. But right now, we're going against his second form of the Star Fox series. And boy, does it look menacing. But I love this fight more than his um. Uh, more than his original fight back within the original. Also, he will he will ram ram into you if you're not that quick enough. Hey, come, come on, you stupid idiot! Get in my sights! Ow! God, where is he? Uh, at least at least his hitbox is in there now. But seriously, I should get his. Okay, there we go. Now I have. Her. And that's Andros. Pretty easy fight on normal. Oh! Look at that. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, big lawn of silence, folks. Camtasia's, uh, stuff kinda went dork on me when I tried to, um, do the fast forward and such, and then paused it for some reason when I didn't hit the pause button. So, I was gonna show you the ending sequence of what, uh, of the radiant and such of what happens, but Camtasia, what are you gonna do? I will show it on hard mode. I will do that, but hard mode will be split into like two parts, cause it's a little longer. But that was normal mode. I will see you guys next time on Star Fox 2 for hard mode.